I like that music. All right. Hey, I also like our uh, Tuesdays this month because we've been checking out some of the area's most popular pumpkin patches right here on the Sunrise Show. So, so far this month, we went down to Dayton. We made a stop in St. Paul. We traveled just south of Woodburn to Jervis. But if you're going to do this, if you're going to do this pumpkin patch tour, you have to check out the one they call the original. And the one they call the original is just a 15 minute drive northwest of Portland. In fact, even on a foggy day, I find it is easy to find the original pumpkin patch on Savi Island. Once you're on the farm, you can ditch the car and hop on a hayride to check out the pumpkin patch itself, or you can just stop in here to the market where I believe I have already spotted the perfect classic orange pumpkin. Let me put this heavy guy right here and introduce you to Carrie Egger. You and your husband, Bob, of course, own and operate the farm. And I love the classic orange, but I also love that you have all these, uh, what do you call these, specialty pumpkins? Specialty pumpkins, yeah, we've added specialty pumpkins to the mix for variety. So we have a knucklehead, which is a warded pumpkin. We have a white boo pumpkin, one too many, which looks like bloodshot eyes. Love it. Blue Gerardelle. This is a little pumpkin. This guy right here? Yep. An orange Cinderella pumpkin and a pink porcelain pumpkin. All very unique. This one to me is the most unique. The, the blue you said? Yeah, it's originated in Australia and it's a great sweet pumpkin that's edible and decorative. I still again love my classic orange and maybe once you've found that perfect pumpkin, you'll still have time here to check out the maze. That's right, we're talking about the maze at the Pumpkin Patch. It's been part of the fun out here since 1999. Craig Easterly started the maze 20 years ago. So Craig, bottom line, how long does it take people to get through your corn maze? 45 minutes, Drew. I can do it in 20 minutes. I need to do it in 30 seconds, because that's all the time I have left in this segment, Craig. Camera Steve, meet me at the bridge. All right. I'm gonna take a quick break to let people know that the corn maze at the pumpkin patch is open every day through the end of the month. Weekday hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. This weekend though, you can check them out at nighttime. They stay open until 10 o'clock Friday and Saturday. So the only words left to say in this segment are the following. Get me out of here! <laughs> You know, I do like to visit the places where the people are cool. Like I, I encourage people to go to that pumpkin patch and that corn maze because the people are awesome. Carrie, the owner of the mm -hmm. farm, very cool. And the guy that runs the corn maze, Craig, I've known him for about 15 years. Wow. He had a good piece of advice for people. Unlike what I did there where you grab the pumpkin first. <laughs> yes. And he says, no, no, you should go through the corn maze first. Yes. Without a pumpkin in your hand, yeah. then maybe go not, get your pumpkin maybe not and then run go home. With it. Yeah, oh. right? Yeah. Unless you want to work out. Because that was heavy. Yeah. 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 And these arms are weak. I was wondering why you were doing that. <laughs> 